Yo, what's up guys, Network here. Today we got some Rogue Discipline Priest with Johnny Tsunami. These games are going to be pretty fun and I hope I can kind of go over everything and help you guys understand our mindset and what we do. So in this situation, it's a human rogue versus a human rogue. So we're both obviously gonna pop perception. Sometimes you can wait it out and try to hide, but we're both gonna pop perception. I'm a Mongo, if you haven't ever noticed. The rogue and I see each other, so I'm gonna kind of push in. My priest is dispelling their priest. I get a sap on the rogue, my cheap shot resists, but I'm just gonna vanish. So in this situation, my priest is gonna start burning or doing damage, I'm gonna kidney. This priest doesn't really have many choices, he's stone form, I blind immediately. So my priest fears rogue, I am then going to go for a re-stealth. If I get a re-stealth, which I do, I will then sap the priest, and this is going to let my stuns come back off of DR. So if my cheap shot lands, he has no trinket, he's gonna die. If my kidney lands, he has no trinket, he's gonna die. I like our odds, my priest starts pre-dotting, and he's gonna go down. So that's kinda how you can run down Rogue Priest. It's not necessarily the best way, but it can work as human. Let's move on. This matchup is Rogue Feral Druid, but obviously at the time I did not know that. I just assumed it was either Rogue Druid, it could be Rogue Mage. So it's my goal to kinda just spread the floor as much as I can with Perception and Sprint and find somebody. So. In this situation, I'm looking for anybody. I end up finding the rogue, which is a dwarf, which is super sexy, so good for him. And it's rogue feral, so I can't find the druid yet, so I'm gonna open the rogue, but my kill target will most likely be the druid. So I kidney him, we get his trinket, so I now know I can blind him, You know, then I'll be able to sap him once I wait off DR. So I just blind him, my sap DR is coming up, so I should be able to sap him and it should be full. So I'm gonna keep pressure on this druid, He's a good fairy, honestly, right there. I get the sap. Always got to get the sap off blinds, guys. That's really important. And then I'm just going to keep damage pumping. Like, I'm going to make sure this druid does not enjoy, you know, having me on him. Uh, he hits a good gouge. I probably could have four-point kidneyed and he would have died looking at it right now. But, obviously, it's hindsight. Uh, I'll go for a re-stealth here. And I'm just going to kill the rogue now because the druid's running. The rogue has no trinket. Any stun on this rogue... And he'll go down. So don't be afraid to swap targets. Swapping is actually really important. Just pay attention to cooldowns, trinkets, and you'll be pretty successful as Rogue Discipline Priest. This last matchup is going to be Rogue Mage. I'm sure we've all come accustomed to this composition in 2v2. <laughs> it's kind of the, the huge. So in this game, I kind of want to talk about what Johnny does, actually, and why he's been so successful against Rogue Mage. So I'm obviously going to stop the Shatter combo. That's very important. Uh, the Rogue is also going to Cheap Shot my Priest and Vanish. Johnny Tsunami makes sure to fear the Mage, but also the Mage's pet. And I think that's something people need to understand is Mage pets are super OP. He is able to Pain Suppression himself because he knows he can stay offensive. And this Mage honestly can die now. So in this situation, I get Cheap Shotted. I'll get Kidneyed. They don't really have much, but I'm going to be able to Trinket the Kidney. With no problem, I blind Rogue immediately on my Trinket. He can either Trinket it and I'll kill him because I have another Vanish or I'll sap him. Now when I sap him, there's not much he can do but Trinket. So the Mage is going to get really low. He uses his Belt, he uses his Shields, and I get full blinded. In this situation, Johnny's just going to run over there and obviously kill this kid because that's just what he does. He's a Mage killer. So he CS'd, he waits on his Trinket, you know, when his CS is up, and then he Trinkets and deaths him. A lot of people need to kind of watch their cooldowns. If you're MCS, make sure not to trinket because you look silly. And then he pulls the rogue and fears the rogue, of course. You know, troll. Anyway, guys, appreciate all you. Make sure to hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm can help me out. As Network once said, Peace.